Hello everyone, welcome back to my learning channel. Today I'm going to show you how to disable your touch screen in Windows 10 if you cannot disable it from the device manager. You, you Let's say you already googled and tried to uh, disable your touch screen from device manager and from any reason you cannot uh, disable it from there. Or for example you have problems with the touch and you don't want to use it anymore or you have a presentation to do and you want, don't want to touch by mistake your touch screen and you want to take uh, to disable it temporarily you can follow this tutorial it is for you Welcome back. So, what you have to do is go to the Windows search box and type run. After you type run, it's gonna appear on the left side and you select run from this list. Just click on it. This small box is gonna open. Delete if you have something written there and write reg edit in one word and press OK. Now this big window is gonna open and what you do, what you need to do here is this. You're gonna have to open folder HK underline current underline user this one that I'm showing you here. Do not open anything else here because this is very important for your computer to don't touch anything else except what I'm gonna show you now. Next folder you're gonna search and open it's software you have it here double click on it it opens scroll down and find Microsoft you have Microsoft here double click on Microsoft and open it scroll down and look for WISP double click and open WISP scroll down and open touch now after you open touch you go on the right side here right click on the mouse press new Word 32 bit entry this selection here you created a new entry we have to rename this entry and name it touch gate two words connected just like I do now double click on that and make sure the number here is zero. When it's zero, after restart your touch screen, it's gonna be disabled. If you want to re-enable uh, your touch screen ever, you just come here, do the same thing and change the number to one. Restart your computer, press OK and your touch screen will be functional again. Or in the future, if you want to reactivate your touch screen, you just delete this entire entry, restart your computer, and your touch screen will be functional again. So, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to write me in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you. See you in the next one. Bye.